What's up, kitties? Hello and welcome back to the best podcast on AHS Tiger Life, Colton's Corner. I'm your host, Zeb Mims, and today I'm joined with... Cadence Coleman. Crystal. And Colton. My name is Carson Jibby Yates. And today we're going to be talking about what we did over our fall breaks. And later we will have a special guest, that being the one and only Mr. Ashby. We are 100% writing this down. All right. No transcriber yeah. involved. We got a whole script of what we're going to say. Look, I'm reading off of it right now. You can't see it because it's a podcast, but I am reading off of it. All right, Crystal, do you want to start us off? I left on Friday, and I went to Dallas with my parents and my sister, and we went to a concert. And what concert? We saw Morgan Wallen in Arlington, Texas. He's hot. We were in the pit for the concert, so we were, like, really close, and it was really fun. Well, that sounds like fun. It was. It was eventful. Mr. Colton, what'd you do? I didn't really do much, but hung out with, like, my friends and families and all that. What'd you do with your friends? Just hung out. I went bowling one day. Well, guys, if you didn't know, Colton actually has his own YouTube channel, um. which we found out about last week. Or actually, the oh no, was it this week? It was Monday. It was Monday. What is he found out about it? All. Uh, he posted them <laughs> doing burnouts in his mom's suburban in the parking lot. Yeah, this at, was like a couple Arlington years ago. High so <laughs> I haven't posted in a couple years. Are so you gonna Are you gonna revive your YouTube channel? Probably not. I think we should. I think we should. I think we should start posting Colton's corners on there. We could. We could. You gotta give a shout out. Yeah, and he also played some basketball. Which I found out Tristan was on there. Was he really? Yeah, he was. Why you don't this? know who's on your own YouTube channel? This was like four or five <laughs> years ago. I don't remember. I like when you put music over yourself while you talk. That was my favorite part. And the stickers that go on the screen. Yeah. Blasting country music. You know, I was like really young, so I didn't know how to edit. So. <laughs> There's a huge watermark. But he was able to learn to edit through the AHS Tiger Life program. I am. I know how to edit now. Yep. And what do you give out there to to the young YouTubers of the next generation? <laughs> to the young Paulers out there. You should definitely learn how to edit before you start. Posting? Yeah. Solid advice. <clears throat> Watch a couple YouTube videos or something about it. Yeah. Don't use the free ones. No. Use iMovie at least. Yeah, if you use the free ones, it it won't let you. It has like a little thing in the it's screen. It's a watermark. A watermark, yeah. yeah. All right, Mr. Cardskin, what do you have to say? I did nothing. I was sick. You were sick? Yeah. With what? I don't know. Well, in that case, let me introduce our brand new, one of a kind guest. Uh, oh, his name is Mr. Ashby. Is that, is that what you Can needed? Can we get a round of applause? <laughs> yeah, baby. It's not that one. That one. Yeah. Woo. Mr. Ashby. Hey, everybody. Hey, uh, Colton's Corner crew. Well, that's great to hear. Well, Mr. Ashby, today's topic is what did you do over your fall break? It's a good question. So uh, for a majority of the time, I just, you know, chilled and relaxed. But um, I did go to Nashville for a couple days with the family. We went to the uh, Science Center. The kids yeah. love that in Nashville. Um, what else did we do when we were there? Oh, well, you know, ate a, a couple restaurants. Uh, you know, we went to the Lego store. My kids love that. In Nashville? Yeah, they have a Lego store in one of their malls there. And um, I think it's like one of the few Lego stores like in our area. So, you know, um, we don't have any here. So they love that, you know. And uh, have you ever, has anyone ever eaten at the Rainforest Cafe in yes. Nashville? Yes. 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 So we did that. You know, kids love that. Um, <laughs> And then, you know, the other thing, my kids just love hotel rooms. They like, oh, me too. Like, yeah, anytime uh, we go to a, uh, a hotel, there it's like uh, we took them to Disneyland. <laughs> so they love it, and they like, you know, like to comment on how awesome the room is and all that business. I'm actually surprised that Rainforest Cafe is still a thing, actually. It's like a distant memory for me. I think it's just one of those things where, you know, it's like unique of enough restaurant, you know, it gets a lot of the tourists What's unique in there. about it? Like, I don't even remember. I remember it being a place. I remember like the logo, mm -hmm. but like what's actually like, is this just like running water? Okay. So they have the running water, like all the water falls throughout and then they have those animatronic animals. So like they, they do, yeah, they roar, like some will roar and move a little bit. There was a gorilla and it just go. Wow. <laughs> like 
yeah, just like Carson said. <laughs> and then, um, you know, and then at some point, you know, they like that you're they're like the rain, the rain has come. And then so like they have rain sound effects and they'd like dim the lights and all of that stuff. You know, it's, uh, y- y- you know, it's 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 cool for you know little kids will love it you know i wouldn't imagine it would be where you would want to take somebody on a first date or if you're trying to impress somebody mm-hmm. unless you're both into rainforests and then i then i say go for it yeah what if they're like scientists and they're like gonna Maybe go they're both like biology majors or like yeah. veterinarians you're right. Okay, I shouldn't have uh, said Rainforest Cafe was just for kids. Oh. It's for anybody who has a love of the rainforest, a love of animals, and uh, <laughs> American <laughs> cuisine. Yeah. I'm trying to think. There was something else I wanted to say about Rainforest Cafe. Oh, yeah. the uh, they're, They were very understaffed that night. So it was like we were waiting there for a long time. <laughs> so, you know, as, as, as I think I got up and like went to a few other stores while I was waiting. <laughs> it's in that like huge mall, isn't That's it? That's right. Yeah. Or whatever. Oh. It's in the mall. Okay. Here's my funny story from the mall. I went to, uh, I think it was called like the nostalgia store or something like that. Okay. And it basically just has like a bunch, like as old me- movie member. Well, it's not old movies from the past memorabilia and merchandise from those movies. And so, um, a lady came up to me and started asking me questions as if I had worked there. <laughs> and then I had to say, Oh, I'm sorry. I don't work there. And then she like pointed to my shirt. I was wearing a nightmare on Elm street, Freddy Krueger shirt. And she just uh. Assumed that I worked there because I was wearing like a product they would probably sell, mm-hmm. and uh, so anyway, that was my story. <laughs> I can't see you like not in like sweaters. Exactly. I think I've, I don't think I've ever seen you outside of a sweater. I've seen I've seen you in like the t- like the, the sports production shirt. I don't yes. Know. Well, I normally, you know, look, I I wear sweaters even on days when I'm not here. So the sweaters will always be here. Mm -hmm. But, you know, typically, like if I were to be at home, I'd have, you know, a T-shirt on and then, you know, with the sweater with it. You know, I'm that kind of guy. I wore sandals, you know, as well. So socks and sandal. Sometimes I'll do socks and sandals. Not always, but, you know. Yeah, you know, it's actually like, because you need the socks make you feel cozy. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, the sandals are, you know. I'm not a huge sandal person. I'll wear like socks and slides. But the sandals, you can slide your feet out. Then you have your toes out. You can just wiggle them around. But then you have to like, you have to like, like the, it goes through your sock. Not all sandals. Um, yeah, so there are sandals that you can easily slide your feet in and out of. I have a pair that don't have that little toe. I do not like the toe separator. Exactly. Oh, no, me neither. Yeah, so that that is not doing that. So, um, but yeah, and you certainly can't those wear are Those are flip-flops. Actually, wait, you know, like, I, th- I think it's in, like, it might be China or Japan or one of those other countries. They will have, like, the toe separator, and then they'll, like, you know, sandal, and then they'll still wear socks with it. They'll go, you know, no. that deep. I wonder if they have special socks for that or if they're really just letting the <laughs> like i don't know I it's, a, it's a good reason to go to asia i guess figure that out i'm reading a book right now about it's called red carpet and it's about um china and hollywood and the relationship between china and hollywood in china and this is appropriate for the month of uh october in china they do uh not allow any movies that have ghosts or anything paranormal in them. Like, ghosts are banned. So, you know, all movies that are made in China that are shown to audiences have to be approved by the government. So imagine that in this country. Like, if the Biden administration had to... Some people in the Biden administration had to watch every movie that came out Mm -hmm. to see if it was suitable for Americans. So anytime America sends a movie over there, the Chinese government watches it, and they either pass it and allow it to show in China or they ban it. It, okay, was uh, is one of those movies that presents a problem, the horror movie It, because, you know, he is a ghost and, like, you know, something from the afterlife, which China does not allow. But America decided, okay, we're going to go ahead in any way and see if they even, you know, see if it'll get approved. Right. They denied it. Then they made a few changes to the movie, and one of the changes that they made for the Chinese version was they had a title card at the beginning that let the audience specifically know that Pennywise was an alien from outer space. Because aliens are allowed in Chinese films, but ghosts are not. 
And uh, so they tried to make it explicitly clear it's an alien, even though I think that's a lie. It's not an alien. It is a ghost or, you know, spirit or whatever it is. And uh, but China still banned it. Yeah, you, but you know what franchise they do love over there? Transformers. Transformers. They do not love Ghostbusters. You knew Transformers? Oh, yeah. I was paying attention and we to talk about it. Oh, and when Colin did his presentation? That's right. I remember you saying something like that. Oh, I said that. Yeah, they love the Transformers movies. So, like, when, like, the fourth Transformers sequel like was getting made i was i was surprised because i was like audiences are tired of the transformers mm-hmm. we got it we're done they didn't make it for us they made it for china it made the fifth transformers movie made more money in china mm-hmm. than it did in america so um so yeah and i think it had even made more money than than some of the american transformers had made in america regardless if you see another transformer be- a movie being made you are the secondary audience the primary audience is china so much so that i think uh, and i know i said i was going to be done but in the fifth chi- in the fifth uh, transformers movie uh, it's you know it's uh, it's china that comes in and saves the day like japan is being attacked and then china comes in and saves them okay. american made movies always have the americans coming in and save every, everyone last so this is an american made movie where china comes in and saves the day at the end but you know it was for chinese audiences we must defend china at all costs that was the line from the movie I just liked it because of Megan Fox. <laughs> yes, and I think we uh, we uh, uh, as that, that's what uh, that's probably what a lot of people Carson's age will say. And <clears throat> Megan Fox is one of the appeals to the movie, and that was uh, we talked about that when we talked about feminist film theory a little bit. Megan Fox. We talked a clip I don't remember Megan Fox. So interesting. <laughs> okay, uh, thank you, Colton's Corner crew. I hope I haven't hijacked this for too long. Oh, we oh, love having good. you out hey, here. All right. We'd like to end with a um, we end, we call our audience the kitties, and we say, "What's up, kitties?" At the beginning, Do we get a goodbye, kitties. All right, goodbye, kitties. Yeah, everybody, round of applause. Woo! Thank you to Mr. Ashby for coming out here today on this lovely podcast, AHS's number one podcast. Colton, what'd you have to say about the interview? It was pretty good. Man, you were a little quiet during that interview. I was. You must have been really been thinking. Yeah. I was really listening. Really attentive yeah. on what, what really Mr. Attentive. Ashby was saying. Well, in his script, he didn't write anything for this segment. So yeah, that's I think. I just said I was going to listen <laughs> to what he said. <laughs> Mr. Ashby had that whole thing scripted, just so you know. And we appreciate it. Well, Colton, what's your fun fact of the day? This one day.